All right, time and experience does not equal the top salesperson in your company. You know what that means? This is beautiful. Okay, so if you're a new hire or if you're new to sales, this video is a very important video for you. Now listen, I'm not gonna talk about the road to a sale. A lot of people, this is what they get. When you start a dealership, and I'm pretty sure wherever you are, your dealership, your manager, your GM, probably had someone come in to teach it to you or has had someone else teach it to you, the road to the sale, which is the meet and greet, the fact find, the qualify, you know, and then we go on all the way up to the negotiations and the close. I wanna explain this. If if you want to learn the meet and greet and stuff, type in meet and greet Andy Elliott. It's real easy to pull it up in YouTube. That video is not this video. These are the five things that beginners don't get talked to about. So what happened when you started? Did they put you outside to get shadowed by another salesperson where you shadow them, you physically follow them around for a week or two and that was your training? Did they have somebody in a, in, a, in a room teach you, maybe like I said, the road to the sale, the process of the paperwork, what you should do with customers? This is not that video. This is the one video that's gonna teach you to think big and crush everybody around you. Why? Because it's possible. But a lot of people, because you're new, they don't teach you this. This will be the video that changes your life if you'll listen. And by the way, if you've been in sales for a long time, you might want to hang around and listen. Maybe you forgot one of these. So number one, how to sell cars for beginners. We're going to start with the beginning basics. Number one is this, the first sell ever made. What's the first sell you ever make as a salesperson? Think about it. Right now, I just want you to think, what is the first sell you ever make? I'm going to tell you exactly what it is. It's making the sell that you can sell the next person that comes into your dealership. Listen, guys, the psychology of selling is the most important thing in the world. Your mindset will dictate whether you do well in this business or you don't. I don't care how skilled you are. If you don't back it with the great mind, you're done. Mindset is everything. So what is the first thing that I did, especially as a beginner, okay? And I still do it today, 23 years later, is that I make the sell that, Andy, the next person that's gonna walk in here, guess what? You're gonna sell them. They came to buy, they will buy, and they're gonna buy as long as I do my job right. But I'm gonna sell the next person that I talk to. That is the first sell that you will ever make in your life, and by the way, don't take this lightly. There's too many salespeople that aren't making that sell, and guess what happens? They're blown away, and at the end of every month, they're complaining and whining and crying why they're not making enough money. It's because mentally they weren't prepared to make enough money, and guess what? Your customers can tell when you're completely convinced that they're gonna buy a car. Have you ever seen a customer convinced that they're not gonna buy one? I've seen lots of them, but guess what? Would you like to match that up with the salesman who's completely convinced that he's gonna sell a car? Yeah, and guess what happens? When that happens, who do you think wins victoriously during the sell? The salesperson. Since you make it up in your mind that you're gonna sell the next person that comes in, I'm gonna tell you, there's a book, it's real short, it's about a 20 minute book, you should read it. It says, as a man thinketh. If you think you're gonna sell them, you just wait and see what happens. There's a pretty dang good chance you are. So the first sale you ever make, that's step one. If you're new and you're a beginner, make that sale. It has to be made every day for the rest of your life. The second you walk in the store, the second that a customer pulls up, and by the way, these are decisions of greatness that we make every day. A lot of people, they get lost in the busyness. Hey, I come into work, I'm looking for a customer, what am I gonna do? Oh, there's a customer, blah, blah, blah. Oh, it didn't work out, dang it. Man, you got to slow down. If you want to become great, create great habits. This is habit number one. All right. Hey, guys, I see you. Listen, I appreciate you. Sorry for interrupting the video. I just want to tell you real quick. Please do me a favor. Comment below. Let me know what you're struggling with. Let me know what you think about the video. I reply to every single one of my comments. I'm here to help you. And by the way, please like the video, subscribe, share it with a friend. Yeah, let's get back to the video. Number two, believability. Believability is everything. Do you believe that you'll be the top salesperson in your company? Yes or no? Do you believe? You have to make this decision right now in the place where you're at. Are you gonna be number one? Are you just gonna be a filler, okay? Are you just gonna help move cars around, right? When the, when the lot gets messed up? 
Or are you going to be the winner? Are you going to be the one that your manager, when he's got a buddy calling saying, hey, I want to come in to buy a car, he's like, boom, paging Andy to the sales tower saying, Andy, I need you to take care of this guy who's coming in. You know what that means? He knows you're representing him and he knows you're going to do a good job. I want to tell you this. If you want to become the best, you have to believe that you're going to be the best. And in your place, you have to fake it till you make it. You have to decide to outwork everybody around you right out the gate. What does that mean? Andy, hard work. Forgot the D. Hard work. Straight out the gate. Day one. Watch this. You may not be, be the most skilled person in the dealership right now because you're new, but I promise you this. If you show up with hard work, you will build a name for yourself in spite of the skill that you don't have that you're the hardest worker in the dealership. That's a beautiful name. You know what? Hard work beats skill when skill don't show up, okay? I want to tell you this. Hard work. Hard work. I see hard work beats skill all the time. But now hard work matched with learned skill. You acquire more skill, new skill, equals new money. Okay, and that's why you're watching this video. And by the way, got 300, 500 videos on YouTube. Go through and watch every single one of them, okay? Check this out. Number three here, confidence comes from competence. Okay, how many people right now want to be more confident at selling cars? Everybody. You know the one thing I see is I see the lack of confidence that people have and why do they have not bulletproof confidence? Why do they don't have it? It's because they don't have enough competence, which means they haven't put the training in. Look, I want to share this with you. Guys, I have lots of courses. Go to the elliotgroupnow.com, okay? The elliotgroupnow.com, two L's, two T's on Elliot, and look at my courses. Check this out. You want to become deadly with confidence? You want to become deadly. You got to know what the heck you're doing. You got to have the competence. I put out a course. It was called Zero to 100,000 Fast Car Sales Training Course. It was not only how to get to 100,000, but how to get there again and again and again through the year. I made 700 grand a year selling cars. I'm going to tell you how. Because when you learn the deadly skill that your competition don't know, you crush everybody. Go to the elliotgroupnow.com, click under courses, go to the zero to 100,000 fast course. Guess what? You get it right now, I guarantee in the next week, you'll have the fastest win and you'll start crushing people right out the gate. All right? Number four, think big. One of the biggest things that I see with new people is because you're new, you think small. You're like, hey, let me pay some time, right? It's like almost like gel. You're like, oh, okay, cool. I got to pay the time. I got to put in one year. Once I put in a year, then I can start thinking big. No, man, you can start thinking big right now. So if that hasn't been you and you haven't been doing that, change it away. It's all about from today forward. I don't care about how you've been in the past. I care about how you are right now. So with that being said, think big. There will be no small thinking for high achievers. We're not going to do it, okay? It is, and, and I say this word, it is like terrorism to the mind to think small. It will kill you. You have to think giant. Most people around you, all right, they're wanting to, to, you know, get as many cars as they can sold. There's no finish line in this game. No matter how many cars you sell right now, guess what's going to happen? You're going to have to restart again next month. There is no finish line in our game. And that's why I'm so passionate about it and love it. it keeps me on my toes all the time. And I love it. And you're going to love this about this business. But you have to think big every day of your life, regardless of what happens. So what does that mean? That means you may have to audit your circle and get rid of anybody around you with small thinking. Yes, audit your circle. Let's go into number five. This is the last one. All right, time and experience does not equal the top salesperson in your company. You know what that means? This is beautiful, right? You got Mike over here. Mike's been selling cars for 15 years at the store. Mike walks around the store like Mike owns a store. You know what? Mike can get crushed out by a new guy. You know why? By going back to these five things we just win, right? You made the sale that you're going to sell the next person you walk into, okay? Number two, you believe in yourself. You're faking it till you're making it. Guess what? You feel fired up and you're like, man, this is my store. This is my house. I'm putting my footprint on it. 
It's going to be my home. Guess what? You move on to number three. You start training hard right now. Okay? You want more time and money? You got to give up time and money. You invest in yourself. You see yourself as an investment. Most people go to college and spend fifty thousand a year, um, or fifty thousand on college, so they can make fifty grand on a year and get a piece of paper. You have the ability to make two to three hundred thousand dollars a year. Go spend a thousand on yourself. Okay? That's your college. Okay? With that being said, that will create bulletproof confidence. Not just confidence, but bulletproof confidence. And then guess what? You think big. Mike over here, he goes ups and down, ups and down, ups and down. He sees friends with everybody in the store. He's a complainer. You're going to crush him out. It's lonely at the top. Guess what happens? So you realize that the time and experience means nothing. Guys, if you're a beginner, if you're a new hire, or if you've been in this business for a long time, and you're stepping back and watching this video and you're like, man, I'm glad you said that because I forgot that. Take this advice I gave you, go crush them.